Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, we will be using a fun layering stamp set from Altenew to create a simple birthday card. You can use this technique and the focal point to create cards for any occasion. I have four examples of the similar floral focal point placed in different ways along with our birthday sentiment strips to add some fun and texture to our cards today. Keep watching for some fun layering and as usual I have lots and lots of sparkle for you today. Before we get started please hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm using the Alta New Flowering Sisters stamp set. This is a 6x8 layering stamp set featuring a lovely sister's bloom. It includes two flowers and two leaves to create a pretty arrangement in a variety of colors. The set also includes seven sentiments to share with your loved ones. With the pack, you also get a booklet which showcases a variety of beautiful flowers with different color combinations and also a guide which tells us how to layer the stamps. It also comes with a coordinating die set which can be purchased separately. Be using distress inks for layering the flowers and the leaves. You could use any ink of your choice. Let's begin. I will go ahead and grab the first layer, which is also the solid base layer of our stamp. I will begin by placing each of the base layer on a clean white cardstock. This is actually a scrap piece of cardstock I had from a previous project. choosing shades of yellow and orange to create my first flower. For all my leaves, I kept it simple and chose different shades of green, starting from a lighter shade to a darker one. To stamp each layer a couple of times to get a solid image. Now that we are done stamping our base layer, let's stamp the second layer using a different color, a darker shade of yellow. For better results, be sure to align every layer very carefully over each of the stamped layers. All the colors and other materials used in today's video will be listed in the description box below. on 
to layer number 3. Just like we did with the second layer, it is important to align this layer perfectly over the stamped image. I used orange distress ink to finish my third layer on the flower and the darkest green for my leaves. Time for some sparkle. I left the third layer of the stamp set exactly where it was on my stamping tool and stamped it with Versamark ink. I used my heat gun to heat fix the embossing powder over my stamped images. Oh yes, I used sparkle embossing powder for this technique. And there we have a beautiful sparkle on all our little images. Let's add some finishing touches to our flower. Please note. It's always better to have a stamping tool for this layering technique since we have lots of stamping to do and each layer needs to fall perfectly on top of the previous layer. I repeated the same technique to create a bunch of flowers each time i used a different color combination i would stamp each layer using one color then add a new paper to stamp the same layer using a different color this way i could save a lot of time make sure to clean the stamp each and every time before you stamp the next color I created three different colors of flowers. Note that all my leaves look the same. You could use a bunch of different shades for the leaves too. Let's do some die cutting. Coordinating dies are available which can be used to cut out the flowers and leaves. very good with fuzzy cutting so i prefer using dies to cut out the images also these dies come in handy when i'm creating multiple cards at the same time you could definitely use a pair of scissors to cut out your images Here we have a bunch of flowers and leaves ready to be assembled onto a card front. You could keep your card simple by directly adhering the die cut onto a pre-folded card stock and add a sentiment. I used a yellow card stock to match my flower.
I also choose to add some extra dimension on our card using an embossing background. I use double sided tape to stick the embossed background onto the pre folded cardstock. You could use any liquid glue or a tape runner for this part. I wanted a thin border for my card. I had some extra yellow cardstock along the border, so I decided to cut it off. Let us now assemble our little flowers and leaves. These are the main focal points for our card. I like to use liquid glue to stick them so that we still have some wiggle room left in case we don't like the position of these images. Now that our card front is ready, let's work on the sentiment. I heat embossed a birthday sentiment from the same stamp set using white embossing powder on a black cardstock. I cut out the sentiment strip and placed it on the top of our card. Here are a few more examples of the different colors of flowers that we made. I kept the birthday sentiment and the embossed background same for all our cards today. But I used different colored pre-folded cardstock to match with our flowers. I used some foam tape to add a little extra dimension to the flowers and the sentiment strip. Here's a look at all the finished cards. Hope you had fun watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and share it with your family and friends. Your love means a lot to me and my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a wonderful day.